for the pledge. I pledge, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. For all. Hello, boys and girls. It's time to go trick-or-treating. So, be sure to light your pumpkins. Ha 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 ha! My eyes beheld an eerie sight, for my monster from his slab began to rise. And suddenly, to my surprise, he did the master. He did the monster man. Good morning, Dons. I'm Nicole. And I'm Matea. Today is Tuesday, October 29th. We have lots of announcements for you today, so let's get started. Are you ready for the SATs? Let the Amador PTSA help you. There will be an SAT mock test on November 9th from 8 to 1230. The cost is $25. You can contact Alicia Bamer at aliciabamer at gmail.com with any questions. Now we have some announcements for the seniors. The senior ad website is still accepting ads, so please go to yearbookordercenter.com and you can place your ad. The instruction sheet is on Mrs. Foley's website and on the Amador website under walkthrough registration. The final deadline for ads is coming up, so make sure to do this soon. The price of an ad is $125. And now we have a sports recap. Hey Dons, I'm Shreya with this week's sports recap. Last week was another good week for Amador, so let's get to some highlights. To start things off, boys water polo beat Washington 12-5 and Foothill 7-6, and the girls also beat Washington 6-5. Also, volleyball beat both Crondelet and Foothill, both in three. Tennis cruised to an 8-1 win, also over Crondelet. Cross country participated in the Mount Sac Invitational, where the varsity girls placed first and varsity boys placed fifth. However, football lost its third game of the year against De La Salle on Friday night with a final score of 62-14. to That's it for this week now, Dons. We will see you next week. And now we have a special segment about a former Amador Valley grad. Hey, Dons. I'm Sophia, and today we have a special segment about a former Amador grad named Kevin Lau. Kevin was born with the left arm that ended at his elbow, and although his parents originally encouraged him to play soccer, he realized that his true calling was basketball. He had a few setbacks at first, but by 8th grade he had figured it out. Not only could he handle a ball with one hand, but he had an amazing dunk. Kevin attended school and played basketball here at Amador, and he was even featured in Sports Illustrated in 2007 when they called him the most exciting player in basketball. Kevin eventually went on to attend Manhattan College and play Division I basketball. Kevin, along with being a unique player, has been on a profound journey after high school. He's back here in Pleasanton now promoting a new movie about the story of his life called Long Shot, The Kevin Lau Story, which is actually in the running for an Academy Award nomination. He was here on Friday visiting classes and some former teachers, and I was lucky enough to get to sit down with him for an interview. Hey Dons, I'm Sophie and I'm here with Kevin Lau, a former Amador student who has quite an amazing story to share with us. So Kevin, what, was, what has life after high school been like for you? Uh, it's been pretty crazy. Uh, I got a full ride at Manhattan College in New York, and New York's a little bit different than Pleasanton, mm -hmm, California. Sure. Uh, so it's, it's been fun and exciting. That's awesome. Much. So you've been traveling around the country, now you're here promoting a movie. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have been traveling quite a bit, doing motivational speaking mm -hmm. internationally and everything, and uh, they filmed a, a movie about me uh, for about the last seven years, starting when I was a junior in high school at Amador. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, it's basically my road into becoming the first Division One basketball player with one hand, uh, which is you know, unbelievable, yeah. you know, experience. I was blessed to have so many different people in my life and different teachers at Amador that actually, you know, helped me progress and, uh, you know, succeed to all my goals. So That's awesome. And you're only 23, so how does it feel to have a movie about your life already made about you? A little strange, not going <laughs> to lie. <laughs> a little weird. Um, it's it's exciting. I mean, it's unbelievable for my family to see it and everything. Uh, you know, I can't wait. We're playing at the uh, Vine Cinema mm -hmm. in Livermore until Thursday of next week, I think October 31st. Awesome. So, uh, yeah, hopefully everybody can support it and mm -hmm. uh, talk to your teachers about getting extra credit for going and seeing it. And awesome. Yeah. It'd be well, great. thank you for being here. Hey, pleasure. Yeah. My pleasure. Awesome. dad passed away when I was 10 and growing up my mom always told me that God had some plan for me.
given my circumstances, I didn't think that was true. It's very difficult to be good enough to play at the Division I level. To have both hands working is a must. If they give you your right hand, you've got to be able to get right. If they give you the left, you've got to be able to get left. I think it'd be very difficult to play basketball with, with just one arm. You are really at a disadvantage with just one arm. Because they're afraid to take it. He brought this kid in with one hand. You gotta play real shoot to kill. I don't know how good he's going to be. It's beyond the long shot. It's astronomical. It's not where you are now, it's where you're going to be. You have to be anywhere if you don't work any game. 15 seconds. Active, active, active. I'm not playing hard. 90% he believes he has a purpose in life i'm going to tell kids the story of kevin for time and ages to come you wanted the ball more than anything let's go let's go let's go we'll see your best be at your best when your best is needed Well, that's it for today, Dons. Make sure you check out Kevin's movie, which is playing at the Vine in Livermore up until Thursday. Thanks. Now for the class of the week drawing. Suspense. Congratulations to Mrs. Texon. Remember to call at extension 5279. Well, that's it for today, Dons. And remember, it's always a beautiful day here at Amador. It's a beautiful